right into it? I think so. I'm gonna try this again. No. All right, I'm gonna record, okay. just so you know. Okay. Hello, it's been a while. Um, that's because I've been really busy. And uh, it, it's, it's been a good busy. Uh, so, let me tell you what's going on. Uh, I'm on spring break. Uh, a year ago, spring break was also known as the end of the school year. Uh, rather strange anniversary to celebrate. Uh, a year ago, I was uh, sharing videos about English being in the studio and uh, just the, the general weirdness that was happening in the world. Here it is a year later. Uh, recently got my, my second vaccine, or as my friend Chris likes to call it, the Fauci Alchi. Uh, but hey, I'm vaccinated. Um, hopefully everyone else will soon and uh, we'll be a healthier society because of it. Speaking of English, we finished our mixing and mastering uh, this week. So our EP will soon uh, be in your hands, uh, either online or physical copy. And we've got uh, at least one concert date that's confirmed that's coming up. I'll announce that soon. I'm not allowed to announce it yet. Um, I'll just say end of May. You'll know soon. Anyway, so that's happening. Super excited about that. Over on my website, uh, you can hear an introduction that I've done uh, for a song off of English's first album, uh, a song called Honestly, um, a song that I just find really beautiful and uplifting um, despite the, the heavy um, subject matter that's being discussed. Um, but I've always enjoyed playing that song live and created an introduction for it, so uh, you can head over there and, and take a listen. Other things I've been keeping busy. School's been keeping me busy. I love my students. They're, they're really awesome. And they have just been through so much. I mean, like this school year, like it just always feels like the first week of school, you know, but it's, it's like, it's like new and different. It's like, you know, an elongated groundhog day, you know, <laughs> type feeling, but they've been great. Uh, this week, I've been uh, doing some uh, serious studying of the musical that we're going to start rehearsals for next week. Uh, Urbandale High School Theater Department presents Urine Town uh, by Mark Holman and Greg uh, Kotis. Uh, so, Urine Town the musical. Uh, it's some funny stuff, and I uh, can't wait to get the, started on that with my students. Uh, what else is keeping me busy? Keeping me busy, uh, the weather's nice. I actually went for a bike ride. That was really great. Um, so I hope wherever you are in the world, uh, you get to go out and go for a bike ride or walk through the woods. Um, I'm reading this great book. Hold on. I'm back. Art of Impossible, The Art of Impossible. This is one of my favorite authors, um, Stephen Kotler. Um, he did Last Tango in Cyberspace, Stealing Fire, um, just a lot of great books about how the brain works, uh, why it works, all the amazing things that are happening um, to make us have thoughts, and more importantly, what we do with those thoughts. And um, just getting so many great ideas out of this book, not only uh, for myself, but for my students. Um, because, you know, so much of being a teacher is just being a motivator. It really is. And, uh, and not in a shallow, you know, you can do it kind of way. But, you know, students, they, they want the facts. They, they want to they, they know the truth and uh, giving it 
to them is, is, is important. And, uh, you know, if I've learned anything, especially this past year teaching, it's that some students learn some things sometimes, which is the same thing that happens in the classroom. Um, but then you add the element of not having a classroom and teaching online and how do you make a musical experience when you're by yourself in your living room or bedroom, you know, and it's, it's like, okay, we can do this. So not only do I have to motivate myself, got to motivate them as well. And uh, this book is awesome. Um, what else am I enjoying? Oh, my favorite thing on the internet right now, Corey Wong. Corey Wong and the Wong Notes. Corey Wong on the one. Corey Wong, How to Musician. Just enjoy those videos so much. And uh, yeah, like that's a guy, like I just can't get enough of. Love watching those videos. So uh, yeah, check out Corey Wong, he's my new favorite. Um, oh, and then lastly, uh, on my website, you can check out uh, the song that I wrote. I wrote it back in 2013. Um, I wrote a number, well, I wrote four songs in 2013 of, of some value, uh, and I just named them all directions. And uh, one of the directions uh, will be featured on the new English EP. Other song called Direction South uh, was featured on Paper Garden Workshop um, by the amazing Lisa Nunnemaker. Uh, she's a illustrator and uh, landscape architect and she's got this online course where she's teaching illustration and she used this song on one of her master classes. Um, so it's always fun to kind of see music uh, end up in unique creative places. Uh, another thing, oh, this is super, I mean, speaking of songs ending up in, in places, uh, from the English EP, um, our song Ouroboros is now on the Cyclone Fanatic podcast. So check out Cyclone Fanatic podcast. Um, those two guys um, talk all about Iowa State football and sports in general in Iowa. So uh, thanks to them for playing our song. Thanks to Lisa for playing my song. And uh, yeah, there's so much love and support going on. It's awesome. Here at Cyclone Fanatic and on the Cyclone Fanatic Podcast Network. With that, we'll bring in Brent Bloom to talk about everything going on this week. Here's English. Yeah. That's all I got. Take care of yourselves. Thank <laughs> you.